So today's video is all about how to install the integrated Beko fridge freezer from B&Q. Well, I got mine from B&Q. So today's description is gonna show you how to put the side panels in and how to fit the door onto the fridge freezer and connect up just everything you need to know about installing. Again, you can follow this diagram if you are replacing because it uh, pretty much a lot of it will be the same. You just won't have to do all the handles and that. You should be able to skip a few bits along. So with that aside, let's see how it's done. Okay, so first off, we need to adjust the legs to the height that we want this to go in. So again, get a rough measurement. So once you've adjusted the legs, you need to push your freezer into place you want to leave it out just a teeny little bit at the moment like this and then it's time to get the cupboard front and put the handle on. Okay, so the next thing to do is open the door, take this plastic trim off and then you have two little plates. Yeah, so you have two little plates. So obviously this is going to be the top, you know, touching the worktop because you drill that up into the worktop. So what we do, what we want to do is we have these two little guidelines here. And what we do, do it like that, wrong one, sorry, do it like that, there like that, that's going to give you your 3mm gap. And then what I would do is just mark it. Mark it on that one, put an R on it just to help. This one, again, we've got some adjustments here. So we can go up or down a little bit. Again, do the same on this one. In line with that top bit. Mark it, put an L. Next thing we want to do is take this off. A couple of ways to do it. Use a star key. Or you could take the whole plate off. So I'm going to do it with just a star bit. Okay, so this is a bit that goes back on the fridge, so this bit needs to go like this. So, first thing we want to do find the center so the door 60 600 so 30 is the center just to make life easier draw a nice little straight line this might be seen in the air nice straight line and this needs to go dead center and you've got these little holes here that are dead center. I'm going to double check with that. Two. Yep, dead center. So these holes are dead center. So now we want to get our right clip out. If you remember, we made the mark at the top. So technically, we could do it like this. So we put it underneath. We bring that down to there. There's one underneath. There's two. Okay, so I've lined my, my holes up with the center spot. I've put my little tabs down here on my little marky spots. So to me, that's where it needs to go. So we put one in there, 
One in there. We'll just do two for the moment. Okay, so we now need to check to see if our door fits. Line it up with the holes. And I would say that that's pretty good. So we can move left or right as well. Not less damage. So we probably need to go across a little bit. Right, well, I'm happy with that. So when you're happy that that's in position, you've tested it, you now need to put a few more screws in. See the screws from earlier. Now we want to do is push, the, push it all the way back in now and get it all plumbed into the right direction before we finally before we do the final fix of the door. Okay, so once we've got the freezer to the correct height, front and back, as you can see, I've had to put a bit of wood under front and back because the legs just weren't long enough to fit in the gap. So as long as you keep it back level so when we put the plinth on, it doesn't affect it so the key thing now to do is bring this forward so it's in line with this one so just a little bit of jiggling Probably can come out the bottom, but we can just frack tweak that. Okay, so let's just adjust the door slightly. So we need the door to go across. So. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to final tweak it left or right and up and down. So the way we do that, I found the easiest way is take those nuts all the way off. That gives you your left and right adjustment then if you take the whole thing off like that see these nuts here so a little swivel there will raise that nut up slightly raise that nut up slightly to give you the height you need if you need to raise up the door so we'll pull it back on Uh, that corner needs to come up slightly. So we take that off. Go to the nut. Give it a little, little adjustment. Put the door back on. That's looking pretty bang on. So there. So I've got my I've got my alignment done with this panel here. Alignment along the top here. So I need to try and open the door without moving it. Make sure the door don't overlap there. Quite happy with that. So let's put the nuts back on. So there's that, so I'm pretty happy with that, so I'm now going to put one fix in, in the bottom here. So I'm happy with this now, so I'm going to put one fix in, in there, and then you have this bar here that comes with, so
doing. That gives us our fix in that side. Again, that in. Happy enough with that. The next job is fixing the door permanently. So as you can see there, you clips there and there, and that brings it in. So, again, I'm gonna pile it just to make my life a little bit easier. So as you can see, I've slid my panel in, and of course, that's where it needs to go, right tight up. So what I'm gonna do is, Give a little bit of a breathing gap at the back. I'll bring that forward like that. Pencil. I'll mark down like that. Okay, so we now want to slide the panel in. That's pretty much the perfect fit. Then what we want to do is we want to, because that's the end panel, we don't need to cut this one out because the plinth will go up there and just stop. So that makes that one easier. And the way we fit this to the worktop is, so now we fit this to the worktop with L-shaped brackets. Okay, as you can see, to get the gap I want down there, I've whacked two yellow packers in there, and then I'm gonna put a packer in there, just to, just to hold it tight. Okay, so I've decided to put one down the bottom just to keep it nice and pinned as it's the final panel. So. Okay, so once you've drilled, Okay, so we need to put a few more of these in. Okay, so the final thing to do now, then you will be done and dusted, is to fit the brackets, which is the fridge, to the panel, just to give it that extra bit of security. So, last thing is to put the plastic bit on to hide all the nuts and bolts. Again, that just slides in nice and easy, like that, and it's all hidden. Done. There we go. Thanks for watching the video. I hope this was really helpful, but there we go. One fridge freezer installed. Thanks for watching. Bonjour.